judge, the audience, the affirmative team for the case, and my partner. Uh, although, voting for the affirmative is suicidal because we are already doing this and we shouldn't worry about doing this again because we are already doing it. Uh, one, uh, for significance A, they said, billions of plants that we haven't yet explored. I'd like to say that we already have the Kepler telescope that is that found many Goldilocks planets. So Nancy Atkinson, University, University Today reporter, February 2, 2012. A new found planet is in a just right location around its star where liquid water could possibly exist on the planet's surface. This is the fourth potentially habitable extrasolar planet. Three were found in 2011. At least 581D, which scientists say is likely a rock core but about 20 light years away, HD 8511. Uh, Another planet orbiting in a habitable zone is about 36 light years away from Earth. So this shows that we are already doing this using the Kepler telescope and we're looking for um, uh, Goldi plan uh, Goldilocks plants, so we shouldn't worry about this because we are exploring. Uh, they said that we have 9.4 million, uh, billion people to feed soon. I don't see how they're going to feed, I don't see how the affirmative team is going to feed these uh, people uh, by uh, searching for Goldilocks plants. Uh, for Hans A, they said so many things we don't know about space. Uh, uh, we don't have to use uh, we don't have to use a telescope to know about space, and we already know more a lot about space. Um, it's 2011, and we know more about space than our own oceans. January 1, 2011, by Noreen, reporter. Uh, two thirds of NASA's 17 billion annual budget is devoted to manned space exploration. There are talks of, of the 6.5 billion James Webb Space Telescope, scheduled to launch in 2014, and dubbed to be the more powerful successor of the Hubble Space Telescope. We know more about the dark side of the moon and the surfaces of Mars than the water that covers 71% of the very planet we live on. We need to start to explore the ocean, for it's for it is on our home planet. Uh, B, they said we are uh, reaching carrying capacity. I like to say that there is no such thing as uh, overpopulation or carrying capacity. Uh, no, I like to say that overpopulation and uh, carrying capacity cannot be solved by colonizing other planets. Nicholas Pranzos, uh, nuclear astrophysicist in the Institut de Astrophysique de Paris, uh, France, our cosmic future, 2000. A uh, few scientists are dreaming. Their motivation is certainly not a solution to overpopulation problems on Earth. It would be impossible to transport any significant fraction of the population in order to send 100 million people, which cons constitutes a negligible fraction of the present population in one century. 3,000 departures would have to be organized each day. So overpopulation cannot be solved by colonizing other planets. Um, uh, See, they said our planet is moving towards danger as we, rapid, we are rapidly consuming limited resources. Uh, let's say that we are not running out of resources. Um, uh, let's say that we can't get resources from Goldilocks plants and we don't have the technology to transfer resources. Dan Talpalario, author, issues on overpopulation colonizing other worlds on November 10, 2008. First and most obvious is the matter of finding the respective plants, which will provide the minerals, fuels, or farmlands that we need. Secondly, assuming that they would eventually be found, there is the matter of terraforming them, which we lack the te technology for. So this shows that um, we can't get the resources from Goldilocks plants after we find them. Inherently, they said people don't care about uh, exploration. Let's say that people do care about space exploration because we are, uh, the NASA is working on a new space telescope to be launched in 2018. Maggi Massetti, webmaster, John Deering, responsible NASA official. Uh, Webb is the James Webb Space Telescope, sometimes called the Webb. Facility class space observatory operating in the visible near and mid infrared Webb 6.6 .6 mirror diameter um, um, primary mirror. Uh, the Webb is projected to launch in 2018 on an Ariane 5 Ica rocket to an orbit around the second Sun Earth Lagrange point. So this shows that there's no here barrier for the firm team. Solvency A, they said it will bring home knowledge. Um, um, I don't think we should worry about knowledge because we already have a lot to worry about uh, rather than knowledge. And B, they said, uh, 
uh, so we can understand the solar system better. Um, we already know a lot about space, so we shouldn't worry about that. And C said we can colonize other planets. Um, I like to say that colonizing uh, other planets, Goldilocks planets, uh, can affect people with X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Jason Tits, fr uh, freelance con content writer with experience in tech writing, blogs, travel writing, pop culture. Uh, Tuesday, May 15, 2012. Of course, before we start packing, there's something, some additional info, info to keep in mind. The Goldilocks planet, planets orbiting red dwarfs are closer to their respective stars than the Earth is to the Sun. And for the re this reason, they are suspect, uh, susceptible to su stellar eruptions for flares that could cover them in ultraviolet radiation and X-rays. Hmm, maybe we should stick around the Earth just a little bit longer. Uh, D, they said, uh, benefits, uh, benefits us with resources. said it benefits us with resources, I like to say that uh, we we are, we are currently running through economic, uh, uh, major economic problems. Uh, the U.S. is currently uh, running through major economic problems, so we should worry about that before we fund uh, uh, building new telescope. February 4, 2012, Thomas Hefner, reporter, economic in economy in crisis. The United States is facing economic disaster on a scale few nations have ever experienced. Most people are aware of the easily observable sign of this crisis, where it came from, and how to stop it. While we persist in our superpower mentality, we have quietly become a second class country in many aspects. Um, um, So to conclude, all I say is, voting for the affirmative is a bad idea for many reasons. Firstly, because we are already doing this. Secondly, because even if we colonize the planets, we can't go to them and we can't get the resources from them because we don't know which planets will have fuel or, resource or natural resources. And, and also, the, uh, the Goldilocks planets have X-rays and um, X-rays which will affect us and will give cancer. Uh, to anyone who goes to Goldilocks planet. So, and uh, they're also far away, so vote negative. Thank you. Um, can, I, can I have the evidence used for for no technology to solve this? I oh. think I read that, uh, wait, how much do you? Yeah, I, I think I read that. So how yeah. many pieces of evidence did you read? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Okay, can, can we have it still? Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, can we have it Okay, and uh, what else? Um, inherency, please? Inherency, oh. Uh, what is the point? Um, NASA does care of working on a moon telescope. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I have the evidence for point C and point D? Um, what's Radiation that? and the economic problems.
I read this one. That's all I can remember. Please. All right, thank you.